Everybody, I wanted to just say welcome to the uh, the Scope Seminar on writing ebooks, uh, um, and thank Sylvia for such an excellent uh, uh, outline of what's going to be going on for the next uh, next couple of weeks here. So uh, this is just about all things ebook. Uh, how do you write them? How do you read them? What goes on with them? What does it mean to us to be moving into uh, these new digital forms of uh, uh, of literacy uh, that seem to be changing the metaphor of what we think of as a book? And uh, we, along the way, we'll also talk about how you actually create one. Um, Luckily with that, we're going to be supported by uh, uh, Scott Leslie, who you're going to see a lot of in this, uh, in this uh, discussion board over the next couple of weeks too, probably. But uh, he's kindly agreed to uh, uh, do a seminar or an, an online video conference on, on uh, how you prepare an ebook, how you create one. And I think that's really going to be a, a, a super feature to what we do. But also what we're hoping to do is, if we come up with some good advice, we have a whole bunch of stuff that happens in this discussion board, and I think we will, um, we will collaboratively put that into an e-publication of some kind. Uh, so you're writing an e-book right now. You're an author, and you will have credit for that. Uh, anything that you contribute, and, um, uh, we would welcome to put into that e-pub. And of course, if you don't want it in there, we'll respect those wishes too. But... Uh, uh, I thought I'd mention just a little bit about how I got started on this. I, about a year ago, I was going on sabbatical and driving from Saskatchewan through Montana, heading to Southern California where I was going to catch a flight to Dunedin. Wonderful Dunedin, New Zealand. Well, you know how sabbaticals are probably. Uh, you, you propose a number of things you're going to do. But you do that a year in advance before it's granted. And so by the time I got to this sabbatical, I knew that I could complete what I had proposed. And I was really looking for something more exciting to do, something that would be really interesting. And we had about 15 years of research that we'd been doing on virtual learning communities out of a laboratory that I run here at the University of Saskatchewan. A whole bunch of us have been working on it. And I'd written the usual array of you know, and just academic papers and conference stuff and proceedings and whatnot, chapters and books. But that, but somehow that was probably being read by two people here and three people there and maybe the odd graduate student there who was forced to. And I thought, you know, we learned some things that were more interesting than that <laughs> that probably deserved a little bit of a wider audience. And I'd also been hearing about ebooks and had attended an Apple seminar on how to construct things pretty easily. And so I thought I'd take a swack at that. Take 15 years of research, compress it into a more popularized version of a bunch of the research that we've been doing. And along the way, it was a really cool decision because along the way, I learned so much about writing. Uh, I'd written other books and lots of other stuff, but there were certain affordances in the ebook format that almost required me to think differently about what I was doing and to create a different kind of voice as I was doing it. And the result was I learned a lot of technical stuff, not as much as I'd like. I mean, I, I, I don't pretend to know a whole lot about that, and that's, that's why I'm really thankful Scott's with us because I think he knows a bunch more than me. Um, but learned a lot of technical stuff, struggled through, made a lot of mistakes with that kind of thing. But then I also worked through the uh, writing process differently than I ever had before. And so I'll be sharing some of my ideas, but I'm betting that if you've been thinking about EPUBs, you've been consuming them, or even been writing some, that you've been struggling with and, and learning some of the same things that I probably tripped across. And I thought this would be a really great opportunity to share some of that stuff. So. I'm really glad to have you here, and I can't wait to learn from you. And I think together we might be able to produce something, at least I hope so, that other people can benefit from as well. And along the way in, in developing that, we have uh, some support from, uh, and forgive me, I'm, I'm reading off of this right now because I don't know them well personally, and I'm, I don't want to screw up the names too badly, but Haida Agran, uh, Angraney and Diana Chen are both going to be work with us. Uh, um, uh, a couple of co-op students from Simon Fraser who are 
they, they're working with BC Campus on stuff, and, and uh, they're going to be helping out with this and probably extracting a bunch of the things we do, participating in the conversations, and being full, full, uh, full participants in everything we do from beginning to end here. So uh, uh, welcome, and thank you. Thank you uh, to, to both Haida and Diana. That's, it's going to be terrific to have you guys aboard, too. So um, let's get at it. I'll pose a couple of uh, discussion starters. You pose some of your own. And uh, let's see if uh, anything that's uh, e-publication worthy can come out of the next two weeks. And uh, so I'll see you here and around. Thanks for being here.